Hello, everybody, and welcome to your first week of using Brightspace by D2L, or as we always call it, just D2L. What I'm going to show you today is how to navigate this new system and where all the important parts are. So the first thing is you need to come to the login screen for D2L. There are links on the website for our school, or you can just Google CVE D2L and hopefully find this page. And from there, you'd log in with your usual credentials. If you don't remember your username or password, there's a password reset tool on my Mr. McSween math science blog for the grade eights and the grade nines. And you're welcome to use that tool. So you sign in here, you put in your username and your password, and then you sign in. You will not have that dual page, I just do. And you will eventually be brought to this D2L uh, homepage. Uh, yours will look a little different than mine. I have access to all the shells for grade 8 and grade 9. You obviously do not. Uh, you should have access to your math shell and your science shell, as well as the usual school shell. Um, I'm going to show you today is the science 8 master shell. Yours will be obviously science shell for your homeroom, but it should all look the exact same. So you click on that for your science, the other one is for math, and you'll use those for both those subjects. So when you click on your science shell, you're brought to a page that looks a lot like this, and it should say science and your own homeroom. So 81, 82, 83, 84, or 85. So this is our main homepage. If you ever want to come back here, you just click this grade eight science shell up here, whatever yours says. And this kind of has all of your main tools you need. Here is your announcements. Every week we're gonna post a new announcement that will have your work for the week, uh, all the important links. As well as these announcements are where you're probably going to be finding your links for any of the online tutorials. So those will always go online five minutes before they start. So look here for those of you who don't see it and you think you're going to see it, just reload your page and it should show up then. So here's your announcement. So here's your little welcome to Brightspace message, as well as the video that I'm shooting right now. Obviously there's no link for it yet. As well as the four things you need to do for class this week for science. All of these links take you to the different assignments or tests or quizzes and they'll take you to where you want to go as well as on the side over here you have your upcoming events um, in terms of the task one two and three for this week you do not need to do those right away so april 6 and you do that one on april 6 right away but it's your suggested timeline that you're doing one thing a day please keep in mind that everything this week is due on thursday april 9th because friday is good friday and it's not school day so you only have four days of work or four hours of math and science this week. If we broke it up, we're gonna have about three hours of math this week and one hour of science. So please keep in mind all the work I've given you here, even though it is four things that are all pretty quick and they should be about 15 minutes a piece when it's all said and done. So that's not too much work for you guys to purchase, we're just getting you warmed up here. So this is kind of your main landing page. So it has all the main things you're gonna need. But if you want to get into more specifics, you have a nice little toolbar up here with different things to help you out. So I'm going to go into the student view now and show you what you will be seeing, not from my point of view, because I have a few more things I can do compared to you guys. But you'll see on the student page, it's pretty similar to what um, I showed you before. So if you look up here, you have access to all these different tools. You can kind of pull this down. There's one more here. But the main ones I'm going to show you today are going to be the content, the announcements, the e-portfolio, the quizzes, the checklist, and the calendar. So content is probably your most important page besides the landing page. This has all the content for the course and only broken up into different modules. So your first module here is week one, April 6th to April 9th. It's nice and clearly labeled for you. As we go forward, you'll have week two, week three, and week four, and they'll all be available for you. So if you click on week one, which is this week, uh, you'll see the four or the three, three different tasks as well as the quiz you're writing this week. You'll also notice that as you click on each one, it'll give you completion so you know how much more you need to get done. And if we click on one of these tasks, so the first lesson we're going to have for this water unit, uh, you'll see that there are instructions for you to do. So first of all, you want to define your bullet terms. That means you're actually doing some notes at home, some good old paper and pencil work. Uh, take notes on key information in any video, so this uh, lesson has a video attached to it that I'd like you to watch. As well as asking you to summarize the main idea of the lesson in one to two sentences, which I'll show you how to do in a second here. So for this lesson, you can go and you can read through these paragraphs here. 
If you're not a big fan of reading, there's multiple uh, text-to-speech options you can use. I recommend using Read Write Gold for that. So you'd go read through these notes, try and form some ideas, look at the picture and see how it relates to what we're talking about. Uh, and then you'd go and watch the video. And you click on this video, it can play either right here in the browser or you can play it on its own click on the uh, main link up here. I'll look at the question below, it's something to think about when you're watching the video. And then at the end, you're going to reflect on the lesson in your e-portfolio. All we want is a one to two sentence response. You don't need paragraphs, just a nice one to two sentence response that shows your understanding that you were here and that uh, you got what you need to get out of here. In order to reflect in your e-portfolio, if you go down a little further, there's a link that says reflect in your e-portfolio. If we come that, it'll take you to your e-portfolio where you can make your reflection. So you give it your title, give it your reflection, and then you add to your e-portfolio, nice and simple. Uh, if you want to ever look at your portfolios, the link for it is up here in your, your toolbar as well. So it's the little green briefcase. And as you add things to your portfolio, you can see your items, where they come from. And I can see this as well, so I can see uh, how your work is coming along, if you're getting the main ideas, if you need extra help there. But this is your main ePortfolio tab. If you click on the Announcements tab, uh, this isn't something you do too much, but this kind of summarizes all of our announcements week to week. So if you ever want to go back and look at them and you don't want to you know, scroll through that giant landing page, you can come here and look at all the things from weeks past. As you move over to quizzes, this is where we store all of our quizzes. You can also get them through the content and the announcements tab. We also have all of our quizzes here week to week. You'll have one quiz per week at the end. You notice that this quiz is not open up until Wednesday this week, so it gives you some time to look through the content first and that you will also have two attempts at the quiz. If you click on the quiz itself, you'll notice that there it gives you details. So it tells you it opens up on Wednesday morning, it opens up at 8 a.m. this week, and it is due by Thursday at 6 p.m. You cannot actually access this quiz until you've clicked on all three tasks this week, so it actually will not open up to you. So if you can't figure out why you can't just do the quiz right away, that is why. As well as you were allowed two attempts at the quiz. So you can take the quiz twice and I'll take your highest of those two marks. Please keep in mind though that I have made a question bank so you get a random set of questions each time. So I can highlight that, but I can't highlight that, that's okay. Uh, but um, you can't just go into the quiz, try to find the answers and then go write it again because you might have different questions each time. They're all directly related to things in the videos and the written stuff I give you for your tasks. So make sure you're taking good notes and taking your time going through those. You take as much time as you want on these quizzes. Also keep in mind you cannot click out of this while you're doing it. So you will not be able to click through the content. You have to use your own notes and your own memory, but you will have to attempt to get it done. Moving along our tab up here, we're gonna to go to the checklist now. Uh, the checklist is not mandatory. It's there if you want help keep yourself organized. You click on your checklist each week. It gives you everything you need to do and you can check off your tasks as you go if it helps keep you organized. And you can save, so say I've done task one, I can save that. And I know that I have done one task. Uh, these due dates on here are not mandatory. They are suggested. So I suggest that you do one task per day this week. The only, the only hard due date is the quiz, so if you want to go through task one, two, and three in one day, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, so if you don't get uh, task one done by Monday, April 6th at you know, 6 o'clock, you'll be okay. Finally, here is your calendar. It'll look the same across all of your courses. So, so for your math and science, they'll kind of come into one place. And here on the calendar, you can get more detail. It gives you... Uh, when all your different things are due, so your, your first task here is in your calendar, as well as it tells you when your tutorials are each week. So this week we have tutorials on for math and science from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock in one hour block. So there will be one starting at 12, one starting at 1, and one starting at 2. Uh, please make sure you're coming into the beginning of those hours. Don't come halfway through because you might miss some important stuff. And there will be a different teacher in each of these hours. So every hour might be a little different, but it should be pretty similar all the way across. So you're kind of required to come to at least one tutorial a week. So we have tutorials this week on Tuesday from noon to 2 p.m. As well as we have tutorials on Thursday this week 
from 9 a.m. to noon. Once again, once at 9 o'clock, once at 10 o'clock, once at 11 o'clock. Uh, from there, those all the important things you need to know. If you need any extra help, there is a little help tab up here for you. So you can look at the CV help as well as the help videos. You can use those to help yourselves navigate. Uh, there's course tools that don't do too much for you, but kind of gives you more things to look at. As well as you can look at your class pro progress. That'll be mostly looking at all of your quizzes and how you did all those quizzes. So I hope that helps and good luck with your first work, uh, your first week of e-learning. We're looking forward to see how it goes and seeing how this first week goes for all of us. Thank you and have a great week.